fishermen who sell at the King's Wharf in San Fernando are tonight begging for compromise as they claim their livelihood is being threatened by the plans of the City Council to build a shed at the site. They are questioning now whether the authorities' plan is to do away with fish vendors at the site. Janine Brown files this report. Contractors hired by the San Fernando City Council were given the job to build a shed in this area of the King's Wharf to be utilized by the Customs and Excise Division as an examination point for vessels and persons coming into the area. But for fishermen who ply their trade in the very spot, such an action equates to a shake-up in their livelihood. President of the San Fernando King's Wharf Vendors Association explains. They put a shed here. The boats of them just come in here. There's the only place they have to dock right now. Usually there's a dock behind the fish market and high up. But what happened, sand came in and over there real shallow. No boat can come inside there now. No boats can come inside there now. The water taxi came and they fill up the space there. So to go down there for the boats to dock down there to bring in the goods will be very, very difficult. Mr. Khan says that they met with the San Fernando City Mayor Junior Regrello on Monday to voice their concerns. He says Mayor Regrello understood and agreed the shed could be constructed lower down the stretch to appease both parties. But it seems the city engineer did not get that message. He came out and he said that nobody cannot stop this. Nobody cannot stop this and he in charge. The people of, 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 of the fishermen do not own this area. And he has to do a work and he's going to do a work and he don't care about the fishermen. Mr. Khan says fishermen now find themselves at yet another disadvantage after struggling to recover from the oil spill which depleted sales in August of 2016. The treasurer of the association is also wondering how those in power expect them to live and support their families. Therefore you're telling we flat that you don't want the fishermen down here, they don't want them to work. Mm -hmm. They must go home and scrunt and go and thief and kill people for money. That is what you're telling us. The fishermen also re championed a plea for Petrotrin to reimburse them for losses incurred from last year's oil spills. Janine Brown, C News. San Fernando Mayor Junior Regrello says he respects the position of the fishermen, but the fact remains the area is a port of entry. Mr. Regrello says as it stands, workers at the Customs and Excise Division have no base from which to operate. They operate from a, a 20 foot container that is inadequate, that is not ready, that is not sanitary, very it's not hygienic, and they are under severe pressure to function. Mr. Regrello also pointed out that the area which the fishermen want to claim was actually occupied in the past. Well, that building, where well, that space originally was, was where the abattoir was. So what did it do before the abattoir was destroyed? He said, however, he will speak to the relevant authorities to have another area dredged for the fishermen to continue making a livelihood. 